Hi, welcome to The Hangar. Today I'm going to talk to you a little about starters, starter motors, especially on Lycoming engines, specifically on Lycoming engines, in fact, and unnecessary replacements of them, which I'm seeing lots of. And this is really starting to get kind of annoying, uh, and I'm sure some of you, you know, the last thing you want to be doing is spending money on repairs that aren't necessary, when there's probably good money you can be spending on uh, upgrades to the airplane, but you would really like to do. So what I'm seeing a lot of is with the Prestolite starters and uh, Lamar starters and some of the older style starter motors, they're getting replaced due to problems with the actual Bendix unit. Now, that is an easy item to repair. It doesn't require a new $1,700, $2,000 starter motor. So lots of people are putting on Skytex or new Hartzell uh, starters. And if you want to do the upgrade, if you want to take that route, that's fine. Obviously, you can spend money, but a lot of times it's not necessary. And I see entries, and I've seen a couple lately, uh, where, you know, Bendix uh, not engaging starter motor replaced. I mean, no, the, the Bendix can be changed. You don't need to change the whole starter motor. Like Combing even has a, an a information article written on starter motors being returned to them because they're faulty, and they're saying, no, there's nothing wrong with the starter motor. The Bendixes are getting dirty because they're exposed. You know, on some airplanes, they're not even covered up, but they're at the front of the engine there, sometimes the weather, and that can get into them. So there is some lubrication and re requirements for them, and there's some cleaning requirements but they can be properly looked after if they're cleaned with the appropriate solvents and lubricated with the appropriate silicone-based lubricant. The Bendix should last for a long time. And even if it doesn't, they can be changed. Now, sometimes it's expensive, you know, $300 plus Bendix, and other times it's in the $150 range. So let's have a look at the tool bench in front of me, and we'll see a couple of items. So we've got a starter motor here, okay? So this is the unit we're talking about. This is the Bendix at the front and it would live inside this housing and these are what quite often will fail okay so this will you'll be in the airplane you'll go to start you'll turn the key and you'll hear a whizzing sound from the starter and no engagement okay that's this failing okay and this can be removed and replaced uh, this is a more expensive one okay this so I've got this starter all apart here so this is a Prestolite um, MZ 4206 uh, starter motor and the Bendix is a little more expensive on them um, it's around the $300 range but 350 bucks even plus uh, maybe an additional hour of labor is way better than a seventeen eighteen hundred dollar starter motor and let's face it to replace the starter motor or to fix the old one got to do the same amount of work Okay, this is a, another one. This one's very common. That's why I keep this one in stock. Lots of 172s uh, that have uh, uh, Presto lights and things like that in them. They use this one. This one was about $180. So there it is. There's a brand new one. Okay, comes with a new drive pin as well. That should be in the box here. There we go. Okay, that little lad's $50 uh, if you've got to buy it and nobody ever has them. So that's in there. And sometimes that'll fail, right? If you get a real bad backfire because your ignition system isn't set up properly or your shower sparks is dying, you know, um, it can backfire and shear that pin. Well, that's why it's there. It's designed to do that so you don't break the starter. So these can all be cleaned. The shafts can be cleaned. And if it's all properly looked after, there should be no problem. Okay, we've got a drive section, nose section off of a big Lamar here. Not even a very old one. This is a, a a 1201H, and again, um, they didn't need to put uh, an $1,800 starter motor on it. Now, some of these, the Lamars are no longer being supported, so some of the overhaul kits for them having a really hard time finding right now, but the Bendix drive should still be available. Spend the money if you want to upgrade to a Skytech, but keep in mind, this tooth here this cannot be changed on a Skytech starter motor. So if you damage a tooth, or if your flywheel has a damaged tooth, and you chew up the, uh, the drive gear on a Skytech starter, you have to buy a new one. It cannot be changed. So yes, they're a little heavier. Yes, they're a little bigger. But if you don't have to, you don't have to actually change and change this whole motor and no section just because this piece needs replacing. So make sure you um, 
check what's actually going on, and uh, you may have a slightly better option than just buying a brand new starter. I hope you found that helpful. I hope I didn't rant too much, but uh, it's very frustrating to see people spending money when they ne don't necessarily need to. So stay safe, good flying, and happy tailwinds.